Hi, welcome. I'm Dewan Moore, and this is Wine News. In Napa Wine Industries, tally damages, economic danger looms. A trickle of a trickle of assessment continues to flow from the wine industry on Thursday, adding shape to the scope of destruction from the wildfires that have been raging across Napa and Soma since Saturday night. In an update Thursday morning, the Napa Valley Vintners reported 160 of their more than 500 members had checked in with the trade group. A tally stood of five physical wineries that had suffered severe losses and 11 others who took damages to their vineyards, wineries, and other buildings. A complete roster of those affected was, avail was still unavailable Thursday, though reports indicated that in the Atlas Peak area, White Rock Vineyards, Cingarello Estates, and Vine Rock Winery had all suffered severe damages. Other nearby, including Robert Sinsky Vineyards, Dorish Wineries, and William Hill Estate, and Stag Leaps Winery also reported damages. To their reports, to the lesser extent, across the valley, in the Mount Vendier region, Sesky, Ses, sorry Patrick, Seskiaya Vineyard also reported damage due to the Patrick Road fires. It also appeared vintners in at least one of the affected regions had been able to hold out their property and as of Thursday, was still fighting to protect it. In a Facebook post Thursday morning, Fontanelli Family Winery on Patrick Road fire drew near. Owner Jeff Fontanelli is spending his birthday recharging water tanks. The post read, attempted to reach winery staff, were not successful. As for the many wineries that suffered initial firestorm physical, Unscratched, danger continues to loom as widespread closures and evacuations may now cause economic harm in the long run. The, this is the most critical time of the year for us, being in the winery, said Barry, Barry Wyatt, owner of the Tambor Bay Vine Yard located on Tubbs Lane in Calistelia. Calistelia. Why said he and his wife Jennifer and their employees were safely evacuated, but Tambor Bay wine has been left in the wine tanks and more than a third of its vineyards were still unharvested. The wines were only able to return to the winery along with winemakers Andy Jones briefly Thursday morning to attempt a much needed pump over of the tanks. Yet the power died as the trio set to work, Wyatt said, allowing them to perform only a few punch downs without electricity before having to leave again. As of Thursday afternoon, Tambor Bay, which produces around 60,000 gallons per year, including wine for 19 other wineries, was still inaccessible. All our wine is at risk now because we can't even go into the winery, Wyatt said. The economic fallout can likely be reduced if the team can return to the next several days, Wyatt said, but at, as time mounts, things just start adding up, with wine sitting in the tanks and valuable grapes, at this point almost entirely Cabernet Sauvignon, go unharvested in the vineyards. As of that just has effects that I can't imagine at this point, Wyatt said. Like many wineries throughout the Valley Tambor Bay, remains closed this week during what is normally its peak season for visitors. We thought this was going to be one of the largest weeks given our reservation calendar, Wyatt said. A silver lining for the winery is that its finished wines are stored in an unaffected South Napa. That makes distribution and the wine club possible, which provides more than half of its business. That side of the business is going okay, Wyatt said. The, said. the same could not be said for others like Brian Arden Winery, which also sits in the evacuated Costogia area. In a release Thursday morning, the winery noted that while it has recently processed its October shipment, the order goes through the company in Soma County that has also been evacuated.
The winery also said that it would remain closed until further notice and at least through the weekend. Meanwhile, with Wednesday mandatory evacuation of Costogia, all of the valley's three farm work housing centers have closed. A spokesperson for the county housing authority said it's still unknown whether the Mondavelli Housing Center, located on Silverado Trails near the multiple damaged wineries, was itself damaged as of Thursday. There's a lot going on. Hopefully everyone's safe out there. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe. A big shout out to Bethany and her friends from the winer at the wine mill last night. You guys made my night. Thank you, and have a good time. I'll see you next time. This was Wine News.